This has been an extraordinarily productive session of the General Assembly. We have breaking Simply news tonight. Stored. The Illinois Senate votes to legalize sports betting after the House vote last night. Good evening, I'm Emily Braun. That bill now heads to the governor's desk and it includes a new casino in Danville. WCI3's Mark Maxwell is live in Springfield now. So Mark, the governor got almost everything he campaigned on in his first year. Emily, good evening. Illinois is about to get a massive makeover. Governor Pritzker got almost his entire campaign agenda completed through both chambers in his first year. Like those policies or not, it's impossible not to admit that he got a lot of big things done. The Senate just wrapped up. The House completed its work last night. We expect to hear from Governor Pritzker here in just a few moments. He's already said he will sign that bill to legalize sports betting, uh, adding that new casino to Danville. He also agreed to, uh, to a plan, a capital infrastructure plan, to double the gas tax from 19 cents up to 38 cents. That, go that money goes into a lockbox. It can only be used for transportation improvements. And adding all of that to legalizing recreational marijuana, the Reproductive Health Act, the $15 minimum wage, and this governor got a lot of things done. Of course, it didn't hurt that he had super majorities in both chambers. So, Mr. Governor, do you see what a difference it makes to have somebody new in the governor's office? <laughs> I understand the difference. Um, truly an historic session. The governor also passed progressive income tax rates earlier this month that could go into place if voters approve a ballot question in November 2020. Lawmakers also managed to give themselves a $1,600 a year raise. Uh, that was their first raise since 2008. It came up in the Senate late on Friday night, but they said it was a drafting error. It was a mistake. It wasn't supposed to be there. But now it's in the bill, the budget bills, that head to Governor Pritzker's desk. We'll have much more on all these developments tonight at 10. But we're going to hear from Governor Pritzker here in a moment. For now, live in the State House, Mark Maxwell, WCIA3, your local news leader. Mark, Emily. thank you so much. We'll check back in with you at 10.